His impact was immense. It was massive. It was, it influenced young kids. Uh, it influenced white people that couldn't dance. Mendoza was their hero. The Fat Joshua was known for making fun of Abu Mama Felicia Mabuza, of celebrities. So Fat Joe, the one episode he makes fun of Mendoza's English. I remember they even said, Mendoza's English, they called it English. To cut the long story short and make, not make it too long, that was the inspiration behind Mzege Zege. In the English, you go to Mendoza, Rashi Rashi. In fact, you can't go to Mendoza, you can't go to Mendoza. Now, Mendoza, you can't go to Mendoza, Rashi Rashi. Yeah, you can't go to Mendoza, you can't go to Mendoza, you can't go to Mendoza. His sound and his delivery, the way he delivered as, a, as an artist, and that's what makes a star. He inspired and motivated a lot of kids from the hood, you know, because back then, you know, kids were only looking at being, you know, soccer star or a thug. So that's the only thing they could relate to. I mean, I'll go as far as cheese cob. The taller and Janus Teleconeni, Galagata, Sugia Claima. Those are my favorite tracks. And then, he in Manch, Nizo Tolaga and Janus Teleconeni. You know, Uman Doza, he's turning in his grave. You are sitting like this and you are doing nothing and he was speaking to you. You better get up, get up and make money. Uzo itola ganja, no shele kone, no kone. Atil sase, insha, langashi, njigisa dubuza, we kelege ekre. Upati sagale, kelege ekre. Upati dalaye, kelege ekre. Ice kelege ekre, kelege ekre's focus. Favorite track yam. Yeah, man, we just love music and these guys were just being a physical representation of what a young black kid from the ghetto can become. 